Hi, my name is Bob. Here in Crowd Paint Shop Pro 2018, I'm going to show you how I enhance my images. This is an image I took of my son. His name is Noah. First thing I do is I duplicate the image. Then I'm going to add a new raster layer. I am going to set the opacity to 50%. Click OK. Up in a color, I am going to set my HTML html number to 80 80 80 and click ok now i'm going to flood fill my image and i'm going to set it to uh, overlay see as you see you can turn it on and off and it has it has done nothing to the image I want to make my son's Noah eyes a little brighter, so I'm going to go to my uh, dodge tool. I'm going to uh, set the brush to his eyes. The way I do this is I hold down the alt button and I go up and down it and it'll make my brush go bigger or smaller. And here I'm just going to go on his pupils a bit. Turn it off. You can see the difference. Maybe I'm going to turn my opacity up just a bit. Do a little bit more. Too much. And people will know that you fooled around with the image. And you really don't want that. So I'll turn off my gray image. As you can see, the eyes are brightening up nicely. Maybe a little bit on his lip here. Working out nice. Now I'm going to go to my burn tool. Now this tool you have to be really careful. I'm going to enlarge my brush. And I'm going to turn down my opacity just a bit. I'm just going to touch up his eyebrows a bit to make him stand out a little more. Uh, there's not much more I want to do with the burn tool. You can do it to make the eyelashes come out a little darker. But I'm sort of happy the way this is turning out. You can enhance his cheeks with the dodge tool. There's a lot you can do using this method. So you can brighten his eyes a bit more if you want. You can make you can take some of the shadows away from underneath his eyes. You can dodge here and burn here, enhance the photo even more. And if at the end what you did you do not like, you just have to delete the layer and start over. This is how I do it. And I've been doing it this way for years, but with Corel Paint Shop Pro 2018, it just got easier for me. Thank you for listening.